Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be actually an update on my Project Wax. So this is a candle project pan in which I'm trying to use up a lot of different candles. So actually the last update I have not finished any candles since then and um, I really haven't made much progress. So I decided to kind of revamp this for the fall and I want to finish off a few candles that I have left over from summer and then some bring in some transitional candles for the fall. So I'm really excited. I have 10 candles in total that I will be um, kind of introducing into this project. And yeah, I'm so excited to show you guys what I have included. So let's go ahead and get started. So this one I'm actually carrying over from earlier in the project, and this is the Yankee Candle Home Classics in Vanilla Chai. I have had this in the wax warmer for a while, and I just haven't really been using it too much. Um, but I will say it's like a really good soft vanilla chai scent. It's literally just vanilla and a little bit of spice. It's a really nice, um, it, it fills my room with this like amazing soft and gentle smell so i will be trying to finish this up it's actually been going really strong um in the the candle crock so i just need to focus on finishing it up and like finally using it because i've had this in the project for like three or four months now and just haven't finished it so now that it's finally closer to fall i can use this as kind of a transition scent and hopefully get it finished up. A couple of summer candles that I've really needed to finish up. Um, the first one is Mint Chocolate Chip Shake. This is so yummy. I am adoring this candle. Um, the scent notes are vanilla mint ice cream, chunky chocolate chips, and a whipped cream. It's so good. It's literally like a marsh, not marshmallow, a milkshakey mint. It That's exactly what the scent notes are. But I am so close to finishing this candle. I just need to focus on using it up. So I'm going to mark where it's at right now. But I honestly think I'll have it finished up in the next couple of weeks. So this should be gone pretty soon. So we're right about here. And I just need to focus on finishing it so I can finally focus on fall candles. The next one I have is Champagne Toast in that kind of packaging from, I think it's from the spring, but I did pick it up during SAS. And this one also is really close to being finished. I just need to focus on finishing it because... I've been kind of neglecting it for a while. So here is where it's at. You can't really see because of the um, label, but it's pretty close to being finished. I just need to focus on this and it should be done pretty soon. So those are like really the only two that aren't specifically fall candles. So let's get into the actual like fall candles. So the first one I have is Champagne Apple and Honey from last year. I love this packaging. I adore it. It is so beautiful with the gilded leaves. I just cannot believe how beautiful it is. And these sunflower lids, which they did bring out again this year. So scent notes on Champagne Apple and Honey are Pink Lady Apple, Sparkling Champagne, and Jasmine Honey. They have this again online um, as an online exclusive this year. So I kind of want to finish it up and see, like, you know, make my mind up if I want to purchase another one, then, you know, do it now while it's still fall time. So I am about halfway through. I absolutely adored this last fall, so I just need to kind of, you know, use it up and determine if I want to purchase another one. So yeah, we're right about halfway. I did mark it in the back, but honestly, it smells exactly like the body care and that's kind of making me want the body care again, which I might pick up like the shower gel or something in it. So we'll see about that, but I want to focus on finishing this one up. I feel like apple candles are really good to transition into fall because um, I'm not quite ready for pumpkin, but I am ready for apples. So that'll be the first one. And then I actually have banana walnut muffin. Really excited about this one. It's been raved about by pretty much everyone on YouTube. So let me go ahead and mark where it's at, but I have not used this at all. I did trim the wicks so that I could use it as soon as possible. The scent notes are sweet banana, golden nutmeg, and cinnamon sugar muffin. Oh, it sounds so good. It's just white wax. Mm, it smells really nice. I feel like this is a good kind of spicy bakery scent, but my mom said she liked it, so I might do this downstairs in the kitchen and see if she enjoys it there because she's usually not a spice kind of person for candles or any sort of home fragrance, so I will test this one out and see if she likes it and I'll use it downstairs because it's it smells uh, it smells like you're baking something in the oven. That's It smells kind of like banana bread, honestly. 
So very excited about this one. I really, really want to start burning it now. Another one that I'm dying to burn is toasted vanilla chai. You guys, I actually just got this in last week from an online order. The scent notes are herbal chai, toasted vanilla bean, and marshmallow. I'm so excited. Mm, it is a beautiful, almost similar to this vanilla chai, but like amped up 100%. It smells so delicious and beautiful and sophisticated and warm and comforting. If you guys didn't know, toasted vanilla chai is one of my favorite scents in the hand soap. And that's how I actually fell in love with chai tea. I had never had chai tea before, but now I absolutely love it and I get it every fall and winter. But, mmm. It smells so good and that marshmallow is really a nice like sophisticated note. I don't really want to mark this one because it is a luminary and it's so gorgeous but just so you can see it's unused. It's pretty much all the way at the top um, and yeah it's pretty much all the way at the top and yeah I'm just really excited to use this one because I have a feeling I'm gonna love it and they haven't brought this one out in a few years in a candle. I think they had it in 2016 in a candle so if I love it and I think that this is hoard worthy, then I need to start using it now so I can tell. And then the next time they have a really good candle sale, I can buy like four of these or something and have it for years to come if I really, really love it. So really excited that they brought this one back. I'm so excited to use it. And then we have a few single wicks actually. So the first one is in autumn and I've had this one for a few years now and it's actually already about halfway used. Let me go ahead and mark it. The only problem about this one is it is so strong that it's kind of like too much. Um, the scent notes are bright red, gala apple, juicy fig, and eucalyptus leaf. I feel like this will be a really good one to put in my bathroom because I do enjoy apple scents in the bathroom too. So going along with the champagne apple and honey, I'll be having um, autumn go as well. Mm. But it smells really good. I feel like this is a good one to get me in the mood for fall, but it's not quite like sweet cinnamon pumpkin or anything like that. So really excited about this one. I've had this for a while, so I think I just need to use it up. It's actually from, oh, it's only from 2020, so it's not that old. Never mind. I got it last year. Um, and then another one that I'm bringing in is actually Frosted Cranberry. I did not use this at all last year. I got this um, last winter, so it's all, all the way at the very top. I'm still gonna go ahead and mark it. Um, but this one I thought I I would keep and maybe exchange But now that we're kind of getting into the fall months I kind of want to bring it out because it does smell really good the scent notes on this one. Oh, they don't have them Okay, well You guys know what frosted cranberry smells like probably but I really liked it in the body care last year for winter It's just like a nice fresh and fruity scent and I love fruity scents in the bathroom, too so I have a feeling once um, champagne toast is done, I might just stick this in the bathroom and leave it there. But I have really good hopes for this one. Everybody says this candle's amazing and the little polar bear is just so stinking cute. So <laughs> why wouldn't I? Okay, so the last two candles are actually not Bath and Body Works. The first one is from Huntington Home and it is the Timberwork Candle and Toasted Pumpkin Marshmallow. So I just picked this up from Aldi last week and it is a wood wick. I did burn it once already. I really like the scent of it. It is like a little bit of pumpkin without it being like too much to start using now. So very excited about this one. I wanna focus on using it a lot um, in the upcoming months because I just wanna try and finish it off. I have a lot of fall candles and I'm trying to get through them. So I wanna make some progress on this one. So that's the first one. And then the second one, and actually the last candle that I'm introducing is Toasty Pumpkin Toddy. So I know I said I wasn't ready for pumpkin yet, but I have a feeling that somewhere in September, I'm gonna get the itch for pumpkin. And when I do, I need to go to this candle because these take forever to use up. So this is the Goose Creek brand Toasty Pumpkin Toddy. And scent notes are not on here, but um, I'm pretty sure that they're on the website. I'm gonna go ahead and mark this one. I haven't even looked if they have it available again this year, but it is such a good scent. It literally smells like cider, like pumpkin cider. Oh, it is amazing. I actually burned this one once last month because I was getting the hankering for fall and for pumpkin. So I have a feeling that's gonna happen again this September and when it does, I'll be ready with this big giant mamma jamma. Um, and my goal is really to get through this one this fall because boy, these things are huge and they do soot a lot. So far it has not soot pretty much any. 
um, but these ones I know soot so much so maybe once it gets to like a really sooty level I'll stick it in the candle crock and finish it off there but for now my aim is to burn it and to finish it up Okay, so those are the 10 candles that I will be introducing for my fall project wax. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know down below and also let me know what are you focusing on finishing in the month of September? Are you still finishing off your, you know, summer candles like me or are you like full pumpkin mode? Let me know down below. The consensus from my um, project use it up intro for fall was that people are not done with summer just yet and they haven't really started on the pumpkin a few people have but a few people haven't so let me know down below what are you doing currently in the month of september for candle burning or wax melting and yeah that's everything for today's video if you did enjoy like comment and subscribe down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye